Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about helping hands. These are the helping hands that help you when you're putting things together, gluing or soldering typically, uh, and you get a couple clips on one of these little, little doohickeys here, and some of them come with a magnifying glass. And these are all nice and, and interesting, but recently I picked up a, um, a different kind of helping hands. And uh, here's the instruction manual. Let me turn on the lights. And I got the one that looks like a half moon, or a quarter moon, actually. So I'm going to be assembling that and trying it out and see how it works. So it comes with four of these arms. I guess you call them arms. One, two, three, four. Let me back the camera up a little bit. And uh, it comes with a metal plate. A quarter moon or third moon metal plate here. So let's assemble this uh, son of a gun. Um, you take first part is you assemble the arms, you put the arms onto the, the feet. So that starts out with a screw there and actually through the foot itself. And then through the bottom of the metal plate, let me make sure I got the right side up. I think it's the other side. There you go, and then that screws in place there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And that's one. Two. That's three. And finally, the last one. Oh, that looks pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is put on the clips. A bag of clips here. And they come with these little rubber pieces here, which goes, I suppose, here. I don't know. The uh, picture, oh, no, maybe they go here. Well, that wouldn't, <laughs> that wouldn't help much. Perhaps like this. That looks better. suppose. And there's actually more than four clips. Let 
they're all the same. So I guess we're going to put these rubber pieces on some of the clips, but not all the clips. And I guess that's in case you have a piece that you don't want marred. And then to mount these on is very simple. You just turn it around. I'm going to put two of each on. Oh, look at that. There's, a, there's more of these guys in here. They're kind of hiding inside of there. I'm going to use two with the rubber pieces and two without. Because if I'm soldering, I don't want the rubber melting on me. And this can be positioned by Tightening up this little screw here, this little thumb screw, can help you position it to whichever angle you want to put it. And I'm going to put the fourth one over here. Now I do not a lot of soldering, but enough to want a decent stand to help me hold things up. And these are real nice because they come up real high or real low as you need it. They're positioned well. And uh, you have room. You can put your stuff in the middle here or over here. Uh, let me get something that could be used as an example. Well, here's my, here's one device I could use as an example here. Let's say I had to put a wire in at the bottom here. So I would take this here and hold it like that. Take the other piece here and hold it down like that. And then I would take my wire. Let me get a wire. You never have a wire when you need one. I'm always cleaning up wires. All right. And then we would take the wire here and we would hold it here and we'd position it into place. Just like that. And here, I'm only using three out of four of them. And I'm not going to really solder this because this doesn't belong here, but just to give an example. And so then I would be able to solder this while everything's being held still. And, uh, and I wouldn't burn my fingers. So there we go. This is my new helping hands device. And uh, I don't really know the name of this. I'll, I'll put it down in the comments, in the description. I'll put the name of this thing and where to get it. I got it from Amazon.com. Like I said, it's, it's a nice, heavy-duty um, device. Great for soldering or building or, you know, 101 other things you can do with it. So, thanks for listening.